For once, he is in the White House, and he's doing some French kissing. I have broken out the French accent because tonight, Donald Trump is hosting a menage à France <laughs> with French president and home-wrecking masseur, <laughs> Emmanuel Macron. Trump's welcomed the Macrones at the White House today, where much affection was shared. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. President. Monsieur le Président Macron, peuple de France, peuple d'Amérique, il est maintenant temps de faire preuve de force. Alors soyons forts. Yeah, right. <laughs> Can't quite get under the frame. I just, that's her. That's her special Donald-proof sombrero. Uh, this is true. Moments earlier, Trump tried to hold Melania's hand. <laughs> and nope. <laughs> no. Nope. Compared to holding hands with Melania, he and Macron just performed the Kama Sutra together. <laughs> Which one is he married to again? Like, that's more affection than he's ever shown Melania. <laughs> yeah, and you know she doesn't care because she knows where those hands have been, but still. Wait, hang on, I'm hearing that Trump and Macron just shook hands again. <laughs> Surely by now they figured it out. Let's take a look. And for Europe, and important for all peoples. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Come on! How do you say please stop in French? I mean, it's like... It was the first time a world leader ever publicly brushed dandruff off another world leader. We do have a very special... Relationship. In fact, I'll get that little piece of dandruff for a little piece. We have to make him perfect. He is perfect. Mr. President, Macron is still standing next to you, smiling after hanging out with you for two days. That's not dandruff, that's cocaine. <laughs> he really, really likes him a lot. He's going to be a great president of France. That's my prediction. It's only a prediction. Thank you. Thank you very much. I, I, know it's, I know it's a cliche, but that's a bromance. <laughs> oh, my views on Iran were a terrible deal. It should have never, ever been made. We could have made a good deal or a reasonable deal. Fortunately, Macron, he, uh, he seems to have the recipe for handling Trump. Because, you see, before Macron became president, he was an investment banker. So he's an expert in dealing with egotistical rich people. Like, for example, for example, watch how he plays along as Trump shows off his amazing president technology. President Trump gave Macron a personal tour of the Oval Office, pointing out his phone to Mrs. Macron. This is where I speak to your husband. <laughs> I speak especially on this one. I'll show you. Right here. This one? That's the one. Well, that's supposed to be the latest and the greatest, but who knows now? This one is a secure one. That's secure. <laughs> like, Macron is acting the way an adult does when a kid shows them around their playroom. Well, this may be the most remarkable thing about Macron's trip is the degree to which Macron seemed to implicitly criticize Trump during his address to Congress today. Macron called on Americans to turn away from nationalism and toward global cooperation, especially on issues like climate change and the Iran deal. There is an existing framework called the JCPOA to control the nuclear activity of Iran. We should not abandon it without having something substantial and more substantial instead. Both in the United States and in Europe, we are living in a time of anger and fear. But these feelings do not build anything. By polluting the oceans, not mitigating CO2 emissions, and destroying our biodiversity, we are killing our planet. Let us face it, there is no planet B. Yeah, we know. If there was, we'd all be there right now. <laughs> <laughs>